So, hey people of the universe, today we are here, uh, and we're going to be reacting to this. Uh, this is a channel I followed for a long time, but apparently this is a fish biologist which is reacting to Hassan, which is apparently this guy, I think he's like Turkish or something, and he's more into politics and whatever. And according to someone who has watched this video also, because I, I got this I got to this channel from a friend of mine, he told me that they end up talking about space at some point as well. And me being an astrophysicist, I thought it would be interesting. We watch Hassan. Hassan's a uh, Turkish politics guy, very big streamer, a lot of people oh, like yeah. him. And apparently <laughs> he watched the five most mysterious unexplained sea creatures, which we've already watched. But I think it'd be interesting because he has absolutely no idea like he knows nothing about the ocean or science in general. He's a politics guy. So like this guy that a lot of people look up to is the um, super intelligent, well-spoken guy. I don't know. Let's see if he believes the five unexplained sea creatures. These things once again show us the endless possibilities the ocean is home to. Yeah, fuck that. Sit back and know <laughs> that everything talked about in this video is shark. Wait, where did he go? Shark eaten by unknown sea creature. Is he even watching it? In 2003, he just Australian walked away. Filmmaker Dave Rigg himself <laughs> theorized the only explanation could be that another, even larger, cannibal great white shark was responsible. Not the only explanation. I don't even does it be the same does even have the headphones on? I mean it could be it could be groups of predators as well. There are some group predator schools. Is that what you call them? Schools? I don't know if that goes for every kind of fish and sea creature. Are sharks fish? I think they are. I mean yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, sorry. I don't know. Uh my paleontology is pretty out of whack. Making it one of the largest great whites ever recorded. The only other explanation. Yeah, motherfuckers want to go in the water when that's there, dude. No thanks. Okay? <laughs> Straight up, no thank you, dude. Okay? I do not understand why the fuck you would ever go in the water when there's like a 0.0000001% chance that that's in the water with you. That doesn't seem accurate. <laughs> there's not. There's not that chance. There's yeah. not. It was like eaten by an orca, right? That never so really it's happens. Like they, they an don't animal even... that has never once harmed a human outside of captivity, where you know they're kept in very small cages in horrifying conditions. Yeah. And I, you know, I don't blame them yeah, for lashing out in the wild. An orca has never hurt a person. Yeah. So. Well, not. I mean, they have hurt people, but I mean, it depends on how you want to see it. I mean, I guess not physically directly as an attack, but but pulled deep down in the ocean and eaten by an enormous undiscovered predator. I don't like this, okay? I don't like the megalodon furry shit. Washes up on beach. <laughs> <laughs> early furry dolphin? Oh no, the furries... <laughs> They've taken the into the ocean now. We're taking over. 2015, a Bro, what's happening? Why is it always a baffling Russian scientist? The carcass of a creature was found washed up Because on... Americans know nothing about Russia and yeah. just use it as a scapegoat for everything. So whenever Pretty you're much. gonna make something up, you just say it's from Russia and people are like, oh yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like, anytime anything is just doesn't make sense, just use some, like, ancient culture or faraway culture to blame it on. Like, oh, it's the Japanese, it's the, the, uh, the, the Amazonians, mm -hmm. it's the... All right, are we back? Okay. I don't know what happened. My my cam just died on me. I think I need to buy a new one at some point. Um, but the point is, people often try to blame things on things that are far away, so no one can really retrace it as well. I don't know anything about that place. That's mysterious. Makes sense. But after reading a lot about it, <laughs> fuck it is hasn't that? Been fully identified. It doesn't seem like it came oh. from the ocean. Whereas this next one, I'm going to talk about. What? <laughs> What the fuck? Hey, uh, this is a fun time to mention that Montauk well, it's kinda like a slot. is the original area where Stranger Things was written, and it's <laughs> written, uh, in, in, like, it's the guy who's from Montauk wrote the original screenplay for Stranger, Stranger Things that- I don't know, I don't care about so Stranger Things, go away. We're like- Doesn't even look remotely fake at all. So, why do yeah, you it add doesn't, this in here, dude? It was a raccoon? It doesn't look it's real. not a raccoon, dude. <laughs> Haas, this video is fake bullshit. There are proven biological explanations, and this are common animals. I don't know, but man. <laughs> it looks kind of fake. So we just told him it's like fake bullshit. There are proven explanations, and he he just read it and then did not react at all. <laughs> he didn't even say okay. He didn't yeah. say no. He just read the message and then just restarted playing the video again. 
<laughs> the fuck is that about? That is definitely not an orca, but it could be an unknown species of whale or an undiscovered creature. Why well, is it okay, first of all, okay, they say it's definitely not an orca, but what do they base that on? Like, what is the logic behind it that it's definitely not an orca? Like, is it the teeth? Because, I don't know if you know this, but teeth are actually a lot bigger than what you see, you know? Teeth, they go into the jaw. So, I don't know. not an orca, but it could be an unknown species of whale or an undiscovered creature. Why does he keep it's leaving? Is I don't this know, what man. Hassan streams are like? I've never watched a Hassan stream. He's talked twice the entire time and just keeps walking away. Why would you ever watch this? I don't think this you is just, You know how I talk about not stealing content? You know, adding your own thing to it? Trying to, like, add your own information? Yeah. This is just flat out right. stealing content. He just doesn't care because he has a wide enough yeah. audience. That's yeah. hilarious. That's something that sounds pretty big. And incredibly, the tone of the sound has deepened over the years, as it would with- Dude, I don't wanna- I don't wanna hear underwater sounds. I- that stuff scares the fuck out of me, dude. <laughs> underwater sounds are so terrifying. I don't know if it's true, it but I- It can eat you? I don't know if it's true, but I think I heard at one point somebody say- And I don't know how true this is, okay, so the full disclaimer. Actually, let me look it up if it's true. I don't- well, let's get- let's get some answers. Wasn't it like if the sound of a whale or something could- make you die or something <laughs> the blue whale is the loudest animal they produce 188 decibels of sound first kill a human shouting is 70 decibels and a jet engine is 140 decibels sound of 120 decibels are painful for humans 150 bad decibels will burst a human eardrum 200 decibels can rupture your lungs uh, above 210 decibels half a sperm whale can also reach 230 decibels but it only lasts 0.1 second and it's not audible to us Pressure waves travel differently in water, something at about 200. Um, the threshold is considered 185 to 200 decibels, so even the blue whale and the sperm whale can produce calls within that. The way that sound travels in water means that this boat wouldn't kill you, but still damage your hearing significantly. Okay, so that's a fucking lie. <laughs> okay, whales are not eating you, one. I mean, I guess you're you're valid in being uh, afraid of underwater sounds, but like I don't know why in particular underwater sounds are scary. <laughs> I really do not understand Hassan. It can't eat you. Refuse to go. In the it's ocean. the unknown, isn't yeah, it? He's no just afraid shit. of the That's unknown. Literally the point, dude. Does Hassan actually not go in the ocean? That's so funny. Giant Turkish guy with all these like confident opinions, and he's afraid of going in the ocean, probably because of bullshit like this. I, I mean, there's a lot of people who are like, yeah, but you have to consider that ev a lot of people have their fears, and just because you're strong in one thing doesn't mean you're strong in everything. You know, that's so. Hmm. Like raised and like now don't go in the ocean or are afraid of the ocean because of stupid shit like this. Yeah, I don't know why people watch this. Straight up the fucking point. That is why I don't go in the ocean. So the blue whale can't eat me. Okay. What? Blue whales don't eat people. What? Aren't they like filter feeders? Okay, Hassan. Thanks for sharing, Pretty I sir. guess. Wait. Thank God the blue whales won't eat you if you don't go in the ocean. Am I crazy? You got a valid point there, my dude. Okay. And here you are making fun of me saying that I'm crazy for not going in the ocean. But you hey. are crazy. You are absolutely crazy. There, the blue whale is not capable. It doesn't even make. It makes no sense, and it's so dumb. It's just just because something's big does not equal scary and dangerous. Guess what? I'm not gonna be eaten by a fucking blue whale. You're right. You're not, and nobody is ever because blue whales don't eat people. So that's a fear you can rule out. There has been some speculation. I don't want to be attacked by a bear. Yeah, so I'm going to live on the, the ocean. Fears. That way they can never get to me. The difference is, you don't fucking know, dude. You can see a bear, okay? And you know where bears are on the land. We have so much more information. Does he what? think blue whales are invisible? You can see a bear. You can't see a blue whale. How which is, by the way, somehow now comparable <laughs> to a bear in danger. Of the land. Then we do of the ocean. No, you we don't. don't. Know anything about the ocean? Oh okay? my God, it's one of those. We just don't know. It? There's so much going on down there that we have not uncovered. Okay. Please no. stop spreading misinformation. Hassan. Yeah, like Whereas... it's like a lot of the ocean is just emptiness, really. So 
there's no real point, you know what I mean? There's no real point to even suggest to look anywhere. People, like, you don't see life everywhere on planet Earth, you know what I mean? There there are mountains where there's barely any life. There's uh, desolate places, deserts, where there's barely any life. And that's the same goes for uh, the ocean. There are places where there's no life. People need to understand that life is very... Life, it needs food. It needs the right temperature. Uh, you need... You need everything to be in the right state. There's a lot of things that need to be right. So... <laughs> you know what the regular bear patterns are? The what? bear patterns? Bear yeah, pattern? like we don't have extensive studies on whale migration patterns. We do we even... The we don't track bears. Studies and the research published on whale migration patterns... Bears don't migrate. ...hundreds of times as much information as the bear migration. No one bears gives a don't shit about migrate. how bears move. No one is tracking bears. We know fucking whale migration like the back of our hands. Bull sharks are able to swim in fresh water and are responsible for a ton of bites. There are pigs all over them in people's front yards during Florida floods and her. Wait, bull sharks are able to swim in fresh water and are responsible for a ton of bites. There are pigs all over, all over them. Hurricanes. I don't know yeah, what any of that means. That. I'm not going to Florida. <laughs> Don't be so sensitive. I've lived in Florida my whole life and have only been bit by a shark once, and I'm a surfer. <laughs> You're not helping, I think. That's going to give me comfort? Comfort? <laughs> 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 Just because you're stupid <laughs> enough to be bitten by a fucking shark and you're still surfing around doesn't mean I'm trying to do that, dude. If I got bit by a shark once, it's a wrap. I don't even know. Listen, sharks I don't, don't how I wouldn't want to be around eat people. Sharks don't. You're in Florida, brother. Sharks That's don't like the way people there. taste. Florida man. Motherfucker literally said I've only been bit by a shark once. <laughs> That it's a malformed blue whale or a mix. I love this chat comment. We got Elon Musk trying to colonize Mars when we know next to nothing about our oceans. That's not even true. Can we stop the narrative of we know next to nothing about our oceans? That's yeah, such a please. stupid narrative. The only thing we know about outer space is based on like physics and then sight. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, it. listen. You know how you see all those like crazy like colors and whatever? The colors that you see in pictures about space aren't even true. They're They're like... They are added as a symbolic thing almost for the elements that are within those clouds and stuff like that and nebula and whatever. So the main reason people went to space was to figure out our position. It was to figure out what what our existence is. It wasn't to just simply explore into space. The very first reasoning to go into space, besides the fact that Russia and America were doing this dick measuring contest, was the fact that they wanted to actually explore what we were. And that meant that it was mostly focused on what the Earth was. Why do you think people are so focused on the Earth still when it comes to space? Like satellites, and I'm talking about uh, the, the human satellites, you know? The things that, the, the, electronical set, the electronic set satellites that people have sent into space for internet and phones and whatever. That's the main reason people went to space, was for things like that. It wasn't to just simply explore, that became a thing later. Now, I, I agree with Elon Musk, it's cool to colonize Mars. And I, I do agree that there's some things we do not know about the ocean, and there's some things we don't know about the underground, mostly. I think that that's more interesting than the ocean itself. But it's not like we haven't explored any of the ocean. The, the entire point that we... The, the, the main reason why we know so much about the ocean is because now we can look at it from a top-down view. That's one of the main reasons why we know so much about the ocean now, because now we can do heat maps, and we can do... Uh, current maps and we can try to see w what what the changes are in the uh, coastal lines the the coastlines it the ocean we actually have interactions with in lots of ways an interesting space is infinite ocean is finite we might we absolutely know more about the ocean no they meant space when they meant like they space isn't infinite necessarily i mean you say it is but it it really isn't space is kind of a product of matter itself so i meant like mapping out like uh, the moon and Mars and shit like that. We like have barely mapped out space. Space is like an infinitely expanding universe of fucking stars and planets beyond our wildest comprehension. The ocean is literally right here, and we have frequent interactions with. Maybe even like astral charts yeah. or whatever. Like fucking astral charts. Astral charts. Certain stars are in comparison to the ocean. Does he understand what astral means? Because astral is something. 
completely different. I love the bullshitting. It's so funny when like big streamers. I mean, I've definitely I'm guilty of it somewhat myself, but like big streamers who think that they're um, just like want to be the expert on stuff for their chat. They want to like know what they're talking about. Just say stuff. There's a Mario streamer named Liam who has the world record right now in 120 star Mario speedrunning who uh just acts like he knows everything and he does it somewhat ironically so it's a joke but there are a lot of streamers who don't do it ironically they'll just straight up like act like they know what they're talking about and say things in ways that seem like they know what they're saying we have not mapped out well, we... if you're not sure then you gotta do what i did just look it up it's not that hard it's not that hard to try to find reasoning and find out if what you're thinking is true. We've only mapped out like what 10% of the fucking ocean or some shit. Like, stop it. I know. Stop I... lying. We've only mapped out 10% of the ocean. Ocean. Um, depth map. Cool. There's the entire world's oceans mapped. This out is by literally depth. what I was talking about. <laughs> by temperature. We've got salt maps. There's temperature maps. There's current maps. What else would you guys like yeah. to see? <laughs> like that does everything. <laughs> in early this will be interesting. From Japan conducted a study to the so we know Pacific Sleeper Shark, Greenland Shark, exaggerated features, you know. We know all of that, but I have a feeling that he is going to assume Megalodon. More about oh at these God. depths, it's hard to believe anything could survive, but surprisingly, there are many fish and living organisms down there, which I will talk That's what I'm saying, dude. This shit is fucked. <laughs> like, look at all this shit mm -hmm. down there. It's. It's, it's, a fucking it's very ingenuous. It's just ingenuity. a moving plastic bag. This is a Dumbo octopus. This is the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> yeah, that, that really like, does look on. cute. It's just dark as night. You can't see any. It's pitch black down there. You can't Don't see shit. Racist. And then there's like fucking little aliens down there. Except for this thing. This <laughs> Do you thing know what an alien is? is? Alien? I bet that I it's, it's a vicious creature, though. I bet it's like it's not. got the most poisonous. <laughs> nope, just a Dumbo octopus. It just kind of flaps its ears and then floats. Bro, you can't even see, dude. It doesn't... It covers the entire fucking thing. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude. It's a shark. Is that a Greenland shark? <laughs> it's just a fucking oh Greenland my shark. Oh yeah. dude. Dude, this is just like a probably like a 300 year old shark who's just chilling, just having a good time. And his song's like, oh my god. It's kind of like that. I don't know if you've ever seen like um, Monty Python's Life of Brian, but I feel like sometimes these sharks must kind of feel like Brian felt in uh, Life of Brian. I mean, if he's scared of blue whales eating him, it makes sense, I guess, that he'd be scared of a yeah. Greenland shark. Isn't that a Greenland shark? What, what, what are you, a fucking shark expert, dude? Why? <laughs> the Greenland shark can live 200 plus years? What? <laughs> what, 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 what are you, a shark expert, dude? So that's five mysterious sea creatures. Megalodon is extinct. It is real, but it's extinct. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. come on. You could have just left it. Pretty Damn sure. It. I, was oh I was happy with Hassan for a second. Well, you gave it your best All effort, right. buddy. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time, humans.